What's up y'all? Today's video is a vlog and I'm going to do like a simple makeup look. By the way, if you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm not really sure what kind of look I'm going to do today and oh my gosh, this nose ring is driving me crazy the way that it keeps like popping up. I'm going to take off my glasses and I'm going to pop in my contacts. Just in case anyone's wondering, I do wear color contacts, but not just to wear them. I actually need them to see. That's why I have glasses on right now. But on a regular basis, I like using the AccuV Moist. These are dailies. I switched to dailies this past like year and I have been obsessed with daily contacts like my eyes are never dry they always feel super like moist that sounds like really nasty but y'all get what I'm saying they're never dry okay I had issues with dry eyes and dailies are a little bit more expensive than obviously like monthlies and things and that's like a 45 day supply i actually wear the same prescription in both eyes so that helps a lot but i've been on the same box for like three months and that's because i also wear color contacts but i also wear glasses too so i really only use these contacts like when i really need to you know so that saves money my eyesight is terrible. My prescription is negative 1.75. Yeah. Matter of fact, y'all always ask me how I put my contacts in. So I'm going to go wash my hands and I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to leave this in the video. But so many of you ask because I have long nails, but I don't use my nails to put my contacts in. But I'll show y'all in a second. I'm going to take my glasses off. And y'all ask me, do I get like the glasses dent? And yes, I do. I do use like the pad of my fingertip to get the contact on. And then I literally just place it in my eye and blink a few times. And it's good. It does not hurt at all. I've been wearing contacts since middle school, so I'm used to it. It's so easy, you guys. Like, I love contacts, especially, like, my daily ones. They feel so good. So I recently went back to doing foundation first. I did it for my last video, and I'm going to do my foundation first today because I forgot, like... I like that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm first going in with my Smashbox Primer Water. Y'all know this is a holy grail for me. And I'm going to bathe in it. I'm going to prime again. I normally use two primers, a spray and then a regular primer. I'm using the Forsali Unicorn Essence. And I do like this because it is like a sticky base and I find that my foundation sticks really good to this. And it smells good too. So we're gonna let that just sit on the skin and I need to figure out what foundation I'm gonna use today. So my foundation drawer is a hot mess right now, like. I really need to get some more of this. This is my favorite foundation. This is the Lancome Tint E Dole. And I use the shade 520 Suede W in this. I'm honestly not sure what foundation I want to use today, y'all. What in the world do I want to use? So I decided what foundation I want to use today. And I'm shaking it up right now. Because it's been a little while since I used it. I like using this foundation in the winter because I feel like it has like a bit of like oil to it. I could be wrong though, but it fiddles that way. It's like a gel like foundation. I cannot use this foundation in the summer at all. Here's what it looks like. I'm sure y'all already know. And I use the shade NC50. Hopefully this matches me right now because my skin is at like a weird shade right now. So I'm just going to apply it 
with my finger. So my camera just did this really weird thing where it said internal temperature high allowed to cool. Hopefully it doesn't cut back off on me. If it does, then I'll have to switch to my A5100. But I'm just using this Amazon brush. And I normally use a beauty blender, but I'm gonna use a brush with this foundation. I feel like it looks better with the brush. I forgot how beautiful this foundation is. If you have dry skin, you will love this foundation. So the one thing that I don't like about this foundation is it creases bad, like wherever you have any sort of wrinkles. But I always go over these areas with like eyeshadow or concealer, so it will be okay. I do like the way this foundation looks on the rest of my skin though. Like, look at that. Gorgeous. For concealer today, I'm using a concealer I haven't used in quite some time. I actually purchased a new one, but I haven't used it yet. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes. I hope I'm not applying too much because I can't remember the coverage of this concealer. So I'm using a damp beauty blender. I like to wring it out in a paper towel just to get the excess. And we're gonna start blending this. If you let your concealer kind of sit and cook on your skin, it will be a lot easier to blend and the coverage will be better too. I always use my beauty blender to blend out my concealer. I just love how flawless it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is in the shade Dark. I am gonna do a bit of contouring today with my Smashbox Studio Skin shaping foundation. I'm using the shade 4.3 and I only use the soft contour side. And I'm gonna blend it out with my Luxie 512 brush. Next, I'm going to set my foundation with this Lancome Dual Finish Powder in the shade 540 Suede W. This is what it looks like. And I press it into the skin. Now it's time to bake. I use my J-Cat Beauty Pro Luxe Powder in the shade Banana. This is very similar to the Ben Nye Banana Powder, but it's, I think, a little bit more affordable, especially if you purchase online. And I also use my Damp Beauty Blender, the same one that I use for concealer. And I apply. If your skin is extremely dry, do not bake. You don't need it. I'm also going to add some here. Here. Pretty much everywhere we highlight it. My forehead. Next, I'm going to use the same brush that I used to apply this powder, but I'm not applying any more powder to the brush, and I'm just sweeping 
away that excess powder. And I had it sitting on my face for about five minutes. I am using the ColourPop Brow Pencil in the shade Black and Brown. I first like to brush my brow hairs. Then I'm going to fill in the bottom. As you can see, I have like no tails. Then I sketch in the top. Then I fill in the brow. And in the front of the brow, I used another ColourPop pencil. This one is in the shade Banging Brunette. And I'm gonna go with the same shape as my hairs in the front. In an upward direction. I want my tail just a little bit darker, so I'm going in with another ColourPop pencil. This one is in the shade Jet Set Black. And I'm going to use this just on the tail. So I'm going to take the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer again and clean up underneath this brow. So I finished this brow off camera and I got a little bit carried away because I started concealing this eye. He's in the same concealer, the MAC Pro Longwear NC45 and applying it all over my eyelid. Next, I am taking a dry beauty blender. This is a wet one, this is a dry one, okay? It's a lot smaller and I'm using it dry to blend out that concealer on the lid. And it works perfect for blending out concealer that you're using for eyeshadow. Next, I'm taking my J-Cat Beauty Powder again and applying it all over my eyelid to set the concealer in place. For eyeshadow today, I'm using the Morphe 350 palette. And I'm going to use this shade here. This is a really pretty transition shade if you have deeper skin. Next, I'm gonna take this shade right here. It is perfect, perfect for highlighting underneath my brow bone. Next, I'm gonna take my favorite ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow in Millionaire, and I'm going to apply this all over the lid, and I'm going to use my finger with this. Next, I'm applying the MAC Extended Play Lash Mascara. This is what the wand looks like. It's perfect for the bottom lashes, but I like using them for the top too. For lashes today, I'm using my Ace Beauty Pandora lashes. This is what they look like. They're so pretty. Y'all have seen me wear these so many times. I do have a coupon code for Ace Beauty. So if you're interested in checking that out, definitely check the description box and I'll put it on the screen too. And I'm using lash tweezers too. I apply it in the middle first, drop it down, then as close to the lash line on the sides. And do y'all see how big of a difference lashes make? Like look at that. Now I'm going to bronze up my face with my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette and I'm just using the shade right here which is the contour shade with an angled brush and I'm going to apply this into my cheekbones.
Also going to apply this to my forehead. I had stopped applying it to my forehead for a little bit, but I'm back doing it. I feel like because it's winter, I just need that extra color. So I know I keep jumping around. My eyes are like creasing, so I'm gonna just blow out this lower lash line. I'm going to take the same shade right here that we first used in the crease from the Morphe 350 palette, and I'm going to blow it out underneath my lash line like this. So I haven't pulled this out in a while. This is the Anastasia Contour Book. And I'm gonna use the shade Peaches and Cream right This is going to highlight underneath our eyes. I forgot how good these were. I've gotta use these again. So as you can see, that instantly just like brightened up the center of my face. Oh, I forgot how good these powders were. For eyeliner today, I'm going to use this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil and Perversion. It is just a black eyeliner. Next, I'm gonna take this black eyeshadow from the Morphe 350 palette and I'm going to smoke out my lash line. Just a little bit. If you don't already curl your lashes, I highly suggest that you do because it completely changes the look. I've already like curled these lashes before, so you're not gonna see that much of a difference, but it does make a difference. You can see this is what the lashes curled and that's not what the lashes curled. It makes a huge difference. It really opens up the eye. So make sure y'all are curling your lashes and this is a bigger lash curler. This one is from Sephora and it really helps to grip like all the lashes. I'm just applying the black eyeliner to my upper lash line. And that is what tight lining is. So for lip gloss today, I'm gonna use the MAC Bittersweet Me Lip Gloss and this is what it looks like right here. So I am in the middle of filming this look. Well, I'm pretty much done. I just need to set it and add some more highlight because y'all know this isn't enough highlight for me. But I just remembered that I need to pay one of my employees. Custom Units by Makeup Doll has been doing so good. So I actually have a few people who have been helping me with wigs and it's been amazing. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. All right, so I just sent that payment through. So I am going to set my makeup. I'm gonna use the Maria Badascu Rose Water. It doesn't really set the makeup, but it gets rid of like that powdery look, which is all I need. So I'm back. Finally got my vlog camera all charged up. I think it's been on the charger for a good like hour and some change so i should be good i need to go get something to eat because i haven't ate all day and it is going on nine o'clock i'm starving y'all say i 
always am eating but no it just like snap every time i eat but i only eat like two times a day so here is the finished makeup look i really like the way that it turned out i need to reapply my lip gloss though so i feel like bittersweet me may be replacing spite y'all mac lip glosses cause my lips to like do this weird peeling thing like does that happen to y'all too or is it just me so i am rocking a custom unit by makeup doll of course i am rocking indian natural wave 28 inch follow my snaps if you want to see videos of all the wigs that we have on the website i have one more cell unit left it is a cambodian natural wave unit i'm gonna go out and show y'all what it looks like look at the christmas tree y'all deja decorated it with ornaments we still have to add a tree topper though so here are the two cell units that I posted on my website today and on Snapchat. This is the Indian Wavy Curly Unit. She is 28 inches and that one already sold. I also have a Cambodian Natural Wave 28 inch unit and that one is still available. You can kind of see the difference between the curl patterns. So I want to start doing planning videos, but do y'all want to see planning videos or not? For now, I'm going to incorporate them into my vlogs. But I have an Erin Condren planner. I'm not sure of the name of this cover, but I will leave it down below. I have the vertical spread that looks just like this. I received my first sticker set from Etsy today, and I'm so excited. This store is called My Newest Addiction. And I'll have to check on the shipping times, but I think I waited like a week or two for this. But I purchased a deluxe weekly kit. I'm going to go ahead and open it and show you what's inside. And I'm sorry if it's loud out there. I actually have some people over right now. So I'm not really good with the planner jargon yet. But I know these are like the decorative boxes. Are they called full box stickers? Full boxes? I'm not sure. Then we have the list here. Next we have the date covers as well as the half boxes. And we have some deco down below. And we have the little things like to-do lists, remember, and all of that. Ugh, so pretty. I'm so excited about this, y'all. Then we have washi as well as some more little things. And I'm guessing this is the freebie. It looks like it would be perfect for New Year's. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate my planner. Got my fluffy little boy with me. Gizmo, yeah. Hey, say what's up to YouTube. Hey, Lance, yeah. Where's your shirt at? Huh? Where's your shirt, little boy? So I am at one of my favorite restaurants, Korean Barbecue. It is 11.19 right now, and this is the first time I'm eating today. Ridiculous, I know. All right, y'all, we're back at it again. We are at Dave and Buster's. I haven't been here in a minute, but um, it's about to close in like 50 minutes, so hopefully we can get some games playing. Oh! About to play some basketball in this thing thing. Let's do one. Should we do a scary one? Do they got a scary one? Oh. <laughs> you're not scared, no. Because you're not looking at the screen. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, snap. Oh no, I don't do spiders. Oh, oh my god.
this game. I don't even know. I guess. Oh, we guessed right. And don't be looking at my answers. Come on. What do contestants do to win on American Idol? Everyone knows that, right? What is the skill used to measure tornadoes? I have no idea. I'm guessing, y'all. What's the skill? Y'all let me know in the comments. Select your jackpot to begin. <laughs> you trash. <laughs> yeah, but she talked about me, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> they are cheating. I give up. Lighting is good over here, y'all. Let's do automatic for the win. Start your engine. Oh, snap. Let's go. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. I'm back in my seat. Oh, ready? This lighting is not that good in here, y'all. I'm sorry. If the lighting keeps like going dark, maybe I can correct it when I edit. But um, it's dark and crazy in here. So they're closing up, y'all. We're out of here. Oh, lighting came back through. Yeah. Go ahead, do your dance, Deja. She gonna do the Snapchat dance. <laughs> the club goal. It smells like cigarettes out here, boy. So it has been a long day, you guys. I know, hair's looking crazy. Makeup is looking oily AF. I haven't touched it up all day. And as you can see, my oil is coming through but for the most part it still looks pretty straight it is now going on four o'clock in the morning yes i know i stay up to all types of crazy times of the night but i just got done working on my spread for my ear and chondrin, so i cannot wait to fill it in again the stickers that i use are from my newest addiction and I really enjoy these stickers. I will definitely be purchasing from her store again. But I still have like a few stickers left. So that's pretty good. And I am team no white space. So I like to fill mine up completely. But yeah, let me know if y'all are into planning as well because... I was into it like two years ago, then I stopped. I've always had like a paper planner. I I used the Happy Planner before I used the Erin Condren and I really enjoyed the Happy Planner, but I decided to go ahead and splurge and get the Erin Condren and I feel like I'm a lot more productive now because I actually enjoy writing down everything that I need to do in my planner and the stickers just make it so much more fun. I know some people are against the deluxe weekly stickers just because they are pretty costly. I mean, most of them range between 15 to like 25. I think I've even seen some around 30 just depending on the shop. I would say between 15 to $25. So if you think about it, you are spending that amount every week for 52 weeks. So I mean, to me, 
it's not as expensive as buying makeup so me being more obsessed with this the makeup is great for my pockets but yeah i absolutely love my erin condren no i did not get this for free i paid for it myself i think i purchased when they had like a 25 or 30 percent off sale so yeah that was really good i'm actually gonna put some carmax on because my lips right now are not looking the best do i look really tired you guys i'm gonna go ahead and end today's vlog again don't mind my background it's a lot going on in this room right now i'm gonna actually do some cleaning up tomorrow because i cannot take this anymore this filming all the time thing is too much for me it's too much but i've been enjoying it i actually missed uploading today I wanted to get this video up today, but I ended up going out, so it didn't get up. But I will post this early for y'all tomorrow, well, today, since it's already 4 a.m. in the morning. And I will be sure to make it up to you guys with a giveaway in the next video. So definitely stay tuned for that. If you have not already watched my last video, be sure to click it right here. It is a first impressions video and I share how you can get free makeup. I mean, who doesn't want free stuff? Go ahead, click the video right now and I will catch you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.